We inject you with a neural acid. Put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. It's too late. It's too late. leave each other. Our souls were bound together. I loved you and hated you for years. You were a part of me. Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do.
Jody! Jody! Jody, come here, wake up. Jody, wake up. Jody, wake up. Jody, wake up. There's a world out here, a whole universe of forests and lakes and mountains and rivers. It's all around us. You just have to listen carefully to hear its whisper. Neither heaven nor hell. There's no God or devil. Just a place where we continue to exist after we die. My soul explores it endlessly, and I've still only seen a fragment of it. I can be everywhere and nowhere. I can dissolve into nothing or become whole again. I can merge my soul with others or, or be more alone than any human being has ever been. All this is possible merely by the force of my will. I continue to look through to your world. I watch over those I love. I'd like them to know I'm there, that I'm okay. To hold them in my arms one more time tell them how much I miss them. But I have to settle for being close by. Invisible. Transparent. No more than a fading memory. I know what has been and what is yet to be. I know all the possibilities. I can see the darkness coming. I must stay a while longer. There is still a part to play. Before I can leave to discover what lies. Beyond.
Sometimes, I could spend hours staring into space, watching the images as they go by. They play over and over again, like a TV that's never turned off. I don't know why I'm seeing all this, but there's one thing I do know. It all really happened. When I'm alone, I listen to the voice inside my head. She talks to me. She says there are things I need to know. Sometimes I shut my eyes and it's as if I could fly. I can go through walls. I see beautiful colors around people and I discover faraway places without ever leaving my room. The voice told me not to tell anyone. I'm really scared. Especially at night when I'm alone with the shadows. There are things moving in the darkness. Strange noises. Whispers in the dark. The voice says it's nothing. That it'll all go away. But she won't tell me what these things are. And I'm too scared to ask. I often have the same dream. Everything seems so real. The sounds, the smells, the light. Deep down, I know it's not just a dream. It's like an echo, an echo of things to come. I must get ready. I know there's not much time. There's only one thing I can be sure of. I will never be alone again.